So here's what the, the lures look like after their first coat of epoxy and uh, they're both shining. I don't know if you can see all that shine. It's, uh, it's a fabulous look and bear in mind there are two more coats of shiny high gloss epoxy to go on as, as well. So now a reminder that this is an 8 inch lure and these lures that I've been showing you are actually 10 inch lures so anyway the next step is to take these gills and and paint them in so the best way I have found out how to do that here's an example by the way of painted gills they look pretty good I can't carve gills into these lures because behind here is the lead and there's so little wood that uh, if you cut into it you'd, <laughs> you'd hit the lead so uh, cutting in uh, gills is simply not an option with these heavy heavy hooks so the way I do this is I take my 1 16th inch tape and I uh, mark off the uh, the gills with it and then I use um, this this is a trim plaid fire engine red which looks a, a whole lot like blood which is great and I have a couple of brushes that I have managed to, to, to get and uh, depending on which one works the best I'll use one or the other uh, probably going to use the little one but that's just a guess I also use these brushes for painting on the stripes but we'll get to, we'll get to, to that so um, I'll come back and uh, um, show you what it, the hook the lure looks like after I've used the tape to uh, mark out the, the gills I've masked off the uh, the gill area and one of the things I do I use my scissors I have this nice little pair of scissors and I make absolutely sure that this tape is down as tight as it can be to the uh, lure and the shiny coat that it's gone out on right now so you don't want paint to creep under the tape now if you do get a little bit of creep you can wait until the paint is a little bit drier we'll say six to eight hours and then you can sometimes scrape off that little tiny bit uh, with a scalpel so I'm going to apply the paint now and uh, I've got a tiny little brush and I'm just going to kind of put it in I'm not going to put in an excess amount because that just lets it creep even more but I'm going to uh, put in this and then I'm going to take the tape off right away this is a very good way of putting on these gills I'm not sure how effective it is for fish to be honest uh, sometimes we do things to make the look the, the, the lure look right and that's uh, our that's our opinion, which we have the right to because we are the all <laughs> we are the uh, the person that's making this, so we have all kinds of choices to make. And make sure that uh, you get enough paint that it covers up the green down below. Okay, so this lure is pretty much done. Put my brush aside, and now it's time to take off the tape. So let's do that. Be careful when you do that, of course, that uh, that tape has that nice red paint on it, and if you're putting it down, that paint can get anywhere. So.
Sometimes it's a little bit hard to uh, get off, but you have to use the uh, scalpel to kind of get, get the tape going. Pretty darn good. You can make any minor changes, but uh, without the tape to protect yourself, you're you're at risk of if you've got shaky hands, you're gonna make it worse, not better. So I like to do the best I can with the tape and just leave it. Okay, so this one is done. Next thing that we're going to be doing, we're going to leave this dry for probably overnight. This is oil-based paint. Trump Cloud is oil-based. And uh, then we'll come back and we're going to talk about um, putting side fins on. And then once the side fins are on, we can move to the stripes. The next thing that I like to do is to put on these little side fins. Now notice the big belly here and you can see the, uh, the stripes so you got to put on that side fin to make sure that you don't bring your stripes um, ultimately underneath the, the fin. So I have a number of templates that uh, I've kind of cut out over time and I can, I can pick and choose which ones I like I think this this one here I think is the same as this one here. Now this one is a 10 inch. I'm going to be applying it to an 8 inch so I would use this one and maybe um, cut off the edge here to make it a little bit smaller. So uh, let me get ready and I'll come back and show you how I do this. So I, I put these, uh, this little fin on a piece of shiny aluminum and on the back side I'm going to use my trusty uh, uh, what is it now? pilot pen and mark out a pair. So you got to be very careful to not move it. I actually use my left hand here to, to mark because I'm, I'm busy holding it with my right hand. And of course you need a pair of these, so you gotta turn it over. Line it up on the paper, the aluminum backside, and again, retrace. That is one nice thing about this pen, it's got a very very small tip and uh, it makes it very very nice. Okay, looks a little bit rough but it's just fine. And then of course what you do is you uh, use your scissors and cut very carefully. One.
Gotta be real careful here to be on the line. And uh, there we go. I've got a pair of these fins and they're ready to go. Now I've got to make sure you take care of your original one put it away safe because I will use it again so here are the two fins as they stand now one of the problems when we apply this to the, to the lure we got to peel the aluminum off the uh, paper backing that can be a little tricky sometimes so um, stay tuned. all right we're ready to put the uh, side pin on and I uh, managed to get the uh, uh, tip of the uh, scalpel underneath the aluminum between the paper and the aluminum and you can kind of move it around see where you kind of like it then you kind of now one of the problems with putting this down is you see how that uh, Tape curls. Sometimes it's hard to determine where that tip is going to end up. You put it down, point it as best you can, and there you go. And of course, use your favorite pilot pen and smooth out any edges and bumps. Just that easy. So we're getting ready to put on the stripes and I thought I would uh, show this commercial lure and uh, the kind of stripes they put on. Uh, I often am guided by commercial stuff because they tend to do things for good reason. They have huge R&D budgets and uh, I don't. So notice that these stripes are just above the fin. That's, that's why the fin goes on first so you don't accidentally go down and then put the fin over top of the stripes. They are rather random. They're not geometric. This makes this much easier to put on. And you can see some interesting configurations here. And um, in order to get this nice uh, opaque stripe, what I do is I use um, a brush like this. And instead of brushing the stripe on, what I do is I dip the tip of the brush in the paint and I very carefully very slowly put the tip down and I'll work from the center out and I'll let the rather than you know bending the brush which is quite honestly a disaster I will allow the paint to drain out of the fibers of the brush and if I need more I can come back and get more and then I'll come back and then I'll uh, I'll go up and then uh, as I'm getting to the tip um, the paint is running out and it's much easier to make a nice tip like this. Now you can see from uh, this example of, of the striping that I have done, I've actually made my stripes quite a bit longer than the commercial one. I don't know, I just, I just like it that way and you know what, I'm, I'm in charge of this lure, it can look any way I want. And. Uh, I'm a little bit higher on the back, a little bit lower on the belly. And of course, what's going to happen after that stripe has been put on and dried overnight, you can see maybe that little bit of sparkle on here. And I've got some um, Elmer's glow in the dark glue and it comes with the sparkles, like I don't have a choice in this. And I'm gonna come back and put not one, but two coats of this Elmer's glow in the dark. One coat, works well the second coat is just makes it just that much better so um, I'll show the uh, Elmer's glue on my next uh, next part of uh, the video clip I don't know if you can see the sparkle off the uh, kitchen lights that's inside it doesn't do any harm um, this is about five six dollars that's it's water-based uh, I actually uh, did a, a lure that had black stripes and I used this and I didn't like it because uh, 
you can see it's got a slightly greenish tin, tinge and when I put it on the black after two coats it, it kind of didn't look that great. It goes over white extremely well but um, over black it doesn't. So what I did is I put the, uh, the lure underwater and I scrubbed it by hand and it came off. So that wasn't an advantage. But when, when you've got the stripes on and you've got this um, glow in the dark on, the first coat of epoxy over top of it, boom, it's done. It's not going anywhere. So this is great stuff. You know. All right, this is where the artistry comes in. It's time to put on the stripes. It's a good time to test your steadiness. I, um, I keep the commercial lure in front of me just as kind of a reminder of what I'm looking for in general terms. I have uh, put a piece of 1 tape along the top here just as a guide and I want to maybe come up close to the tape but not touch the tape because the, the, the glue will just sneak under the, the tape and then I can go down maybe even as far as the side fins. So I feel lucky so let's let's try this. Again you start in the center and you work your way up Now you see how that paint starts to thin out? I don't know if you can see that. That's the paint draining from the, the bristles of the brush. You can go back there. And complete it. If you see that the, the paint is thinned, if you're steady, you can go back and fix it. Now I'm going to do a couple more here. They're kind of all the same. This one is slanted a bit this way, so I'm going to um, go back the other way. These are somewhat random so there's nothing wrong with any of the stripes unless you kind of angle them kind of crazy and you've done it a few times it doesn't take a long long time so you ran out of paint there so I'm going to stop here for the moment and I'll, I'll uh, continue off camera and show you. So here's a few more that I've done Well, I'm always looking to try new things. The second lure, I guess I could have done it the same with the white stripes, but I've been looking for reasons to use yellow. Yellow and uh, these green lures, I think goes together very nicely. And let's, um, let's uh, put that guideline on with the, with the uh, 1 16th tape, like we did on the other one. It just gives me something to go by. I've made it a little higher, but uh, let's see where this takes us. All right, so let's go. It's 
Same idea, you load the, uh, the brush with the paint and you let the paint draw off. Things. I always like to put in one of those forked ones. I'm not sure why, but I, I do. Gotta go wild and crazy with it. Okay, so uh, you can see that the yellow is done. It's um, not bad. I like it. So we'll set this one to dry and uh, we'll come back tomorrow and do the other sides. So the uh, stripes have uh, dried overnight and it's time to add the glow in the dark. This Elsmer stuff is quite thick so I won't spend a ton of time on it but it is a little bit unusual and uh, so basically you just take a, a tissue and make a bit, a bit of a blob here because it's so thick it uh, you're not really painting it on you're kind of almost troweling it on and you pick up a little bit with the tip of your fairly tiny uh, brush and you I, I again I like to start in the middle and you just kinda daub it long you can you can tell it's quite thick and it sits up quite high but that in fact will go away after it dries it dries very very flat although having said that after these stripes are are finished even after two coats of uh, epoxy you can still feel them through the epoxy the epoxy doesn't have the ability to make the sides of this lures perfectly flat because these stripes they stick out too much so I'm going to come back in a little while after I've given this side two coats and they've dried and then I'm going to charge them up with uh, a flashlight and show you what they look like in the dark. They look really great. 